just wanted to get a closer look at this archway because it's just brilliant. Whoever built that, well done. It stood the test of time and survived the earthquakes. Brilliant piece of engineering and architecture. Love it. It's the little things that make me happy. got a hire car for a week. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> We've actually got it because tomorrow we need to go somewhere to follow up with the Turkish residency for a year so we can stay over winter. Um, so we thought that we would hire the car for the week and make the most of it and see some sights. Yep. Go into... We're going to Patara Antik Kenti, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Ooh. And apparently there's like heaps of old ruins there. <laughs> no more old ruins. No more jokes. old ruins, no, okay. Oh, okay. And it was actually the main port of Western Lycia when it was in its day. In its so, heyday, yeah. yeah. Apparently so, it's still very impressive. Yes, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, we'll be able to give you more information on it when we get there because apparently they've got quite good signage in English. Yeah. <laughs> it's a um, nice day, it's turned out to be quite nice. Yeah, it has. It went wild last night. Yes. Uh, we were expecting more rain today, but it's, it's pretty good. Yeah, all right, well, when we get there, we'll show you around. And the ruins. The ruins? Tortellita, please, two person. Fresh color. Only open from 8 30 to 5 30. <laughs> I don't think it really that is where you matters stop now. where we stop, but no. there's a beach walk. Yeah, so let's I go guess there. we'll park it up somewhere and. Yeah. Take a stroll down to the beach and then figure out which bits of the ruins we want to look at. All of them. <laughs> I know we're not sailing, but it's an adventure. <laughs> this is a part of what we do in our retired lifestyle, living on a boat and going places. We also get off and we explore what's on the land. This beach that we're going to, Pattaya Beach, is a turtle nesting beach and from May till October the beach is closed at night there's no access uh, from about eight o'clock at night uh, until um, eight o'clock the next day I guess uh, to allow the the turtles to come ashore lay their eggs and then given time allow the little baby turtles to hatch yeah. and make it back into the sea yeah isn't that great it's fantastic Apparently it's a big beach, uh, a bit like an Aussie beach. Yeah, long. Um, and if it is long, it will look like an Aussie beach today because there shouldn't be anybody on it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It is an Aussie beach. Oh, it's huge. So I'm guessing these waves are being created by that weather system that's out there. Uh, I think that's the system that passed overhead of us last night and dropped quite a bit of rain and quite a lot of wind attached to it too. So this is Patera Beach. Now let's go and look at some relics and ruins. Oh did I hear you say ruins? Ruins. Oh goody I love old things. Don't go there. <laughs> <laughs> it's my birthday tomorrow. Old. <laughs> I know but not as old as me. Uh huh. This city has a lot of history and a lot of it is outlined on the board behind me but in a nutshell the earliest record of this Lycian city dates back to 1300 BC so it's been around for a while it's also been in the control of many different uh, groups and regimes conquerors and empires and such like the other interesting thing that I found on here is that and very timely for this time of year is that Saint Nicholas who is obviously known around the world as Santa Claus was actually born in this city isn't that good we're going to see Santa! Apparently there was enough seating here for 6,000 spectators. 
to watch whatever performance was going on. And um, mostly it was entertainment done by humans and music and stuff like that, until of course the Romans arrived and they brought the blood and gore with them. And uh, a lot of this area here where the orchestra used to play um, was turned into a gladiatorial area for men to fight against men and also a fight against animals. I love the way they've carved these seats out of a solid piece of stone. I wonder how many thousands of people have sat on these seats through the centuries and watched the performances down there. What's the next performance, Baz? You? Pole dancing? <laughs> yeah, dreaming. I've not seen any poles here. I'll find one. And she's found something else to rummage around. So you'd walk through here and the whole of this section would be roofed over. Uh, and actually, as you go through the doorways into the uh, assembly hall itself, again, it's got a, a semi-circular uh, tiered seating arrangement where presumably the administrators of the local individual areas would be seated and they would make their decisions on rules and regulations. All very civilised. I vote for that. I knew we should have brought a torch. Wouldn't like this to be my office. You wouldn't like it? No. A bit dark. A bit dark, yeah. <laughs> yeah, a couple of more windows would be good. And as you come out of the Lycian League Assembly Hall and walk this way, you can see dotted all along here are the bases of presumably very large stone columns. So this must have been some sort of walkway as well, leading to another special building. And on that wall over there, you can see there's lots of different pieces of stone that are not from the original build. Um, Turkey being an earthquake prone zone uh, and this particular uh, city um, had its fair amount of destruction over time from earthquakes. Um, they've just rebuilt whenever they could with whatever they could. These columns are just magnificent. Oh wow, look at this. Wow. <laughs> Imagine this thriving with people walking about doing their daily chores and buying goods and selling goods and trading and wheeling and dealing. This must have been awesome. This Prostilis temple is the best preserved temple of its kind in the Lycia region, with its walls still standing up to the roof level. It was constructed on the edge of the Agora at the main harbour, which was located inside the estuary of Patara. And it was later incorporated into the medieval fortification as a bastion. Dates back to the second century AD. Wow. Oh, look. You came the easy way. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's not quite exciting on our way here. And I, you know, didn't, hoped my hopes weren't going to be dashed, but it's like, it's, it's just as exciting as if we were walking around Pompeii. You know, everybody's heard of Pompeii. Yeah. There's so many buildings that are still intact enough to be interesting, aren't they? Yeah, it's fabulous. The heat would come through yeah. these, and then you've got your floor on top. Yep. And you're in the warm room now, and the way you're facing is a hot room. It's truly hard to believe that this used to be the most important port city of uh, the Lycians. The estuary of the river that it's built on uh, over the years has sadly silted up with sand coming down the river. 
and they just basically didn't dredge it or couldn't dredge it or had no reason to dredge it. Maybe business was dropping off as other port cities grew in importance. Um, and that was basically the downfall of this beautiful city, the silting up of the estuary area and of course making the port totally useless. There's a little froggy down here. Let's see if we can get a close up of him. <laughs> I guess Mr. Froggy's not feeling very photogenic today. Next week on Sailing ABC, we prep the boat for yet another big weather system coming through. Remember to give us a thumbs up and click the subscribe button if you enjoyed this video. And if you want to get more involved, check out the link to our Patreon page at the end of this video.